I'm reviewing Wands View 1080 Pro HD IP camera. This is the K1 with humidity and temperature. It comes with a quick installation guide, but it also comes with a CD that has your software that you will download called Search Pro as well as iSmart View Pro, and I will demonstrate those in just a minute. What is also on that disc is a user manual. The user manual is for a different model camera. It's not for this one. So I'm going to try to walk you through the Search Pro and the Wi-Fi to help you. This is your camera. It has an extremely large wide angle lens, which I was surprised by. Um, it's larger than the last IP camera that I've had. You have the capability to do WPS, but doing the Wi-Fi configuration that is on the application that I will show you is much easier. This is your temperature sensor and your humidity. They have it up against the speakers like that. Um, I don't recommend it just because this gets a little warm and so that will affect your temperature. Of course, that is your antenna. It has night vision capability as well. Your infrared LEDs are going to be around here. Your photo sensor is right there. Um, and your microphone is here. And that's where you're going to want to put your phone close to when you're doing your Wi-Fi configuration. It comes with a power adapter as well as an Ethernet cable. Okay, first we're going to do Search Pro because that is where you're going to do all of your settings. So double click, hit search, your camera will pop up, double click that. It's going to ask you to log in. And there is my live streaming view. I am currently in my bedroom. If you look in the hallway on the right, you will see me. I'm going to be waving. So you can see that it is live streaming. To the top, you can go to playback video, and this is where it will record when either you schedule it or if an alarm is set and you can control that there. Setup is your main place that you're going to do everything. Uh, currently it's in the system so you can do uh, change the time. Um, this is your Wi-Fi LED indicator. Maintenance you can default. Reboot. Network would be your IP setting, your port setting, your Wi-Fi. Uh, you can set up the dynamic DNS if you want to. Now, the main one you'll probably be using, um, you can do FTP if, if you want it, if you have one that is set up. There's not that many that aren't free. Your SMTP is your email settings. So, if you're not familiar for how to set it up, um, usually it is STP dot whatever your email is whether it's yahoo gmail and then dot com now some of them are different uh, the default server port is 25 but most servers like yahoo they pick up on 25 and they filter it out so um there's different numbers like 465 and i think 995 uh, that you would need to try. Google it. That would help. Normally, the security connection would be SSL. Authentication, yes. If it's anything that, if your email requires a username and password, there's going to be an authentication. Username is typically your email address unless you have an email that you have a username and the email address are two different things. Otherwise, you'll put your email address here, your password, the sender address is your email address, 
and receive our address, you're going to want to put your email address again so that way it can send it there. But you can also send it to someone else if you have a significant other or a parent that you want to send it to. Your mail subject you can change from alarm to you know camera one if you have more and then the content you could put motion detection if you want. Video and audio you control the resolution for the first, second, and third stream. Audio, the volume of the microphone and the speaker. Your image, you can control the contrast, saturation, brightness. You can overlay your time and name. Now I want to point this out to you. This is a temperature humidity camera. If you put an overlay of a name, then it will cover the temperature on the video. So if I found out because I put indoor camera right here and I saved it. So on the video screen, like on my app and on the live video here, instead of having the temperature and the humidity here, this is where the overlay name will be. And so it'll cancel that out. Your night vision, you can turn off and on the IR LED. You can also do the shift mode if you just want it to be a certain time of the day. You want to do it manually, day and night mode. Or audio, auto, as soon as you, as soon as it's dark in there, it'll automatically change. And then of course you can change the brightness. Security, this is where you'll change your username and your password. The default is admin and password is 123456. This is your alarm detection. So if it gets too hot, if you want if it, this is going to be a baby monitor and you're worried about it being too cold or too hot, you can hit on and you can set it. Now, if you're in the United States, you're used to seeing Fahrenheit. You cannot change it. It will always be in Celsius. So you'll have to think in Celsius. Humidity alarm detection is the exact same way. Make sure whenever you change preferences, you hit save or it will not. Your alarm action is where you're going to set up where you want this to go and if you want a snapshot versus recording. Now, you won't get a recording to your email. It'll only be a snapshot. Um, FTP server, if you have it, your SD card is probably your number one. I wouldn't start with the SD card putting it in unless you try the email first because sometimes the motion detection or audio detection is extremely sensitive and you'll have to adjust it. And if you have it on the SD card, it will fill up really fast before you're aware of it. And once it's full, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to work as well. So. I would have it on email just to see how many emails you receive first because it's easier to delete than having to go to your SD card. Arm time. You can pick all week if you just want it certain periods of time, like you want it from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then you'll hit save and you can do it with any any um, days of the week and any times, all 24 hours. If you want it all the time, you'll hit all the time. Your storage would be your SD card and it would ask you about if you want a timing of a snapshot and you can set that up and recording. So this will automatically happen. It doesn't need an alarm to trigger it. Now I'm going to go to the iSmart View Pro and here is where you can actually see if there's multiple cameras and kind of look at everything at one time. Um, in the bottom right hand corner, it's hard to see with my little thing there. If you have four cameras, you can set up four cameras. You can go all the way up to 64. Again, you will hit the plus button to add you can search to add for the device or you can add it manually by typing in the camera. You can right click to stop it, uh, set the plan, edit device. 
I don't use this feature as much as I use the Search Pro just because this is kind of limited if you only have one camera. But here it gives you a better picture of the temperature. It's 24.11 Celsius which is 73.39 Fahrenheit and the humidity is 65 percent. This is your Wands View application. As you can see it already has my camera on there because I've already set it up. But to set up you'll hit the top right hand corner as a little plus sign and scan the QR code would be your best bet than having to put it manually or if you have Wi-Fi and you don't want to do the land search then it's it's best to do just the scan QR code. Um, when it comes to finding this application it tells you that you can search Wands View. I recommend using the QR code because when I searched for Wands View in the Apple Store a lot of different Wands View type um, application showed up and none of which were the one you're supposed to use for this. So in the bottom if an alarm's triggered it'll show here. So you can see I had the audio alarm set up and so that's why these are activated. More you can do the multi view on here if you have more than one camera which is an awesome feature. Um, I've reviewed other ones that do not have that pictures. I'll show you in a second. You have your video recording, your Wi-Fi configuration. So you're going to put your server, your Wi-Fi name, um, and then the password and you will press configuration and you're going to hear a lot of different tones. This needs to be right up against the microphone then you'll hit this back arrow right here and camera and it should say online. So if you have the password correct and this is right up against the microphone of the camera it should say online automatically. I didn't have an issue with that. You can do a snapshot your recording on and off. You can do a speaker. You can even hold it down to speak. Your brightness and your default video parameters. You can change the different modes. So I have it on 1080 HD. Um, on the top left hand corner you'll see an up and down and right and left. That is solely if you have one of the cameras that can rotate. This one you will set up manually because it has a little ball and joint and you can move it around. So that does not apply to your camera. Overall this is a very nice camera. You have your ability to adjust it and it will stay there. It doesn't slump over. It is a pretty firm it, it will not rotate, of course, you have to do it manually. It comes with the ability to mount it to the wall if you would like. I hope that this gives you a better idea of their product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.